Hello, my name is Leroy Blevins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. In this video here, what we're going to do is talk about two films. The Patterson and Gamma Bigfoot film, filmed in October of 1967, and the film of Jim McLaren, Walking the Path of the Bigfoot, that was filmed at the PG film site in 1968. However, when I analyzed both of these films, there's a lot of details I found in the surroundings to pinpoint two different times that these films were filmed, like the film of Jim McLaren Walking the Path of Bigfoot. They claim that was filmed in the summer of 1968. Now, everybody knows the claim about Patterson filming his Bigfoot film in October of 1967, but that's still speculations on actually the date when that film was shot. But by the films themselves, and it this is told in the surroundings shows that actually the film of Jim McLaren walking the path of the Bigfoot filmed by John Green in 1968 was actually filmed before Roger Patterson filmed his Bigfoot in 1967. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull up this right here. Okay, this is the film of Jim McLaren on the left. This is a scene, this is a frame from Jim McLaren's film of 19 from 1968 and this is the famous part from the film of frame 352 of the PG film filmed in 1967 as you see here where the cursor is in the film of Jim McLaren there is a big piece of bark hanging from this tree here but in the PG film it is completely gone there is no bark hanging there no more now, we're going to pull this frame up here. Like I said, if we, when we're going to zoom in. Right here, we can see the bark hanging. This is the Jim McLaren's film. You can see Jim McLaren right here. He's walking the path of the Bigfoot. We can see this big piece of bark hanging from this tree. That was on the right side. Now, on the left side, this is from frame 352 of the Patterson film, filmed in 1967. The bark is completely gone. Now we're going to move down to the next part that's seen in these two frames. As we see here, we see these two sticks are not crossed. They're separated from one another. We also, this is seen in a Jim, uh, Jim McLaren's film from 1968. We also see this extended branch coming up right here where the cursor is at and it extends outward. Now when we go over to the PG film from 1967, now we see these sticks crossed and that extended branch is completely gone. Now remember these are dead trees and they're supposed to be filmed just months apart from each other. However, Jim McLaren's film shows the branch extending outward, but the PG film shows the branch is completely gone. Same as we see down here on the downfall tree. Now this bottom image, image here is from the film of Jim McLaren from 1968. This is right here. This is this frame. This is a close-up of that part of the, from the frame. As we see, we can see a piece of bark hanging along the street downfall tree. Now when we move up to a close-up of the same location that's in frame 352 of the Patterson film from 1967 we can see the bark is completely gone that bark is completely gone like I said this is a downfall tree a dead tree okay so basically when we're looking at this and by close of the surround by looking at and studying the surroundings Actually, the film of Jim McLaren walking the path of the Bigfoot was filmed before the PG film was. And we can tell this by the surroundings in the films. As I point out, and as you see here, in this close-up here, we're going to look at these two images right here. This is, We're going to look at just this branch alone. This one branch right here sticks up and it stops. This is seen in the PG film from 1967. Here's that same branch over on the right here. Here's that same branch, supposedly filmed in 1968. And there's a branch extend, the branch comes up, 
but instead of stopping, like we see in a PG film, it extends outward. Now for this actually to happen, especially with dead trees and stuff, they would have to cut this part off when they filmed the PG film. The branch was extended outward and the film of Jim McLaren, but it's gone in a PG film. Same as the bark down here. In a PG film, the bark is gone, but in the uh, film of Jim McLaren, the bark is there. By the films, and by in studying the surroundings of the films and finding all these differences between the two in the same location indicates that the film of Jim McLaren walking the path of the Bigfoot was filmed before Roger Patterson filmed his Bigfoot film. So there could not be no date on them filming uh, Jim McLaren walking the path of Bigfoot. Because the only thing they can say is, the only thing they answer to is, it was filmed in the summer of 1968. That was it. No specific date or anything. But by the films itself shows it was actually filmed before the PG film was. Now, another thing when I was analyzing these two films <clears throat> that I found is right here. As you see here. I'm going to close up. This is John Green's film from 1968. This is Roger Patterson film from 1967. There is, watch my cursor, there's a glitch right here. And right here, there's a glitch in every third frame. Every third frame of the film of John Green's, there's a glitch every three frames. And there's a glitch every three frames in the Patterson film as well. Now we're going to look right here. In this film here, this is the film of John Green, as we see this glitch right here. That same glitch is seen in the PG film as well. Which indicates that not only John Green's film of Jim McLaren walking the path of Bigfoot was filmed with a certain type camera, but also it indicates that Roger Patterson's film was filmed with that same camera for that same glitch to be on every third frame in both of these films. That indicates that, like I said, both of them was filmed with the same camera. And with Jim McLaren's and the surroundings in the film of Jim McLaren showing objects there, but they're completely gone in the PG film indicates that the film of Jim McLaren was actually shot before Roger Patterson filmed his Bigfoot. Now there's one other thing I do want to point out is right here. Here's the famous frame 352 of the Bigfoot walking. What I did was I toned the colors a little bit and everything else to brighten it up to sharpen it so we can get more detail out of it. Now we're going to zoom in on this location here that no one's never found before but you know except for the dog print which I'll pull up right here where my cursor is. As you see I'm circling the uh, dog print that uh, M.K. Davies found. I verify that it is a dog print and it is in this film. No matter what they say, it's in the film. But we're going to look over here in this area right here. As you see, when I scroll in, we can see an eye being carved. There was an eye carved here, another eye carved over here, and a nose. Someone is actually carving a Bigfoot on this stump before. The Bigfoot was even filmed. Someone was actually carving a Bigfoot in the stump. Now, they overlooked that stuff, but I don't overlook. I always go in details. That's how I found there were certain parts missing in, a, excuse me, in the surroundings, like the barks and everything else. Like I said right here, we can see the stick come up, this, this twig come up, and then it stopped, and the extended branches in the film of Jim McLaren, but as you see here, it's completely cut off in a PG film. The bark is not hanging on a tree here, but in the Jim McLaren film, bark is hanging, so we ripped it off. Also in this frame here, we can also see other footprints and stuff, which I'm going to make other videos on that as well. But, 
by the films and by the images indicates that both films, the film of Jim McClain Walking the Path of Bigfoot and the PG film was filmed with the same camera. And by the surroundings in both films indicate that the path of the Bigfoot Jim McLaren was walking was actually filmed before Roger Patterson filmed his Bigfoot. Now this leaves the question of how the Jim McLaren knew the path the Bigfoot was going to walk. Thank you.